What's going on guys, Balkan Arctid here and in today's video I'm going to be talking about cheaper alternatives to AutoCAD and Revit. So whenever you think about drawing softwares or a CAD or, or some, something drawing on the computer or modeling on the computer, you usually think about Autodesk, especially about when you're talking about a CAD drawings. Uh, when you're talking about 3D, some people might think 3D. Uh, some people might think about SketchUp or something like that. But as far as 2D drafting, people always go to Autodesk AutoCAD. So in this video, I'm just going to talk about some alternatives to AutoCAD because AutoCAD is uh, Autodesk's uh, software. It's actually pretty expensive compared to some of the competitors because it's, well, it's the best. It's, it's the best software for uh, purposes of 2D drafting or 3D drafting. And when you're kind of, when you're getting into architecture or you're starting your own firm, you need to get some licenses and it can get pretty expensive to buy all of the licenses for AutoCAD, for example. And I, I want to talk about when it's when it makes sense to go for a cheaper alternative and when it doesn't make sense. So well, let's say you're starting a small company and you're just working with a few friends and you need a license for your software, of course, because you're working in and then you need to have a license. So if you opt for AutoCAD and just AutoCAD, it can be pretty much too expensive for your small firm. But if you want to go with AutoCAD, Revit, 3ds Max, if you want to have more people working in different softwares, it might make sense to get an Autodesk package that covers all of these softwares and it can be actually a lot cheaper when you kind of pile these programs and buy them all together. It's like buying on a sale and like buy two, get one free or something like that. So it makes sense if you're batching and getting more uh, Autodesk products, it makes sense to go with Autodesk. But on the other hand, let's say you have your small company and you're only working in AutoCAD, you don't need you don't need any BIM software, you don't need any special software, you can use free SketchUp for some simple 3Ds, so you want to use AutoCAD, but it's quite expensive, so you want to go for a cheaper alternative. And uh, there's a bunch of alternatives, and first one is a BricsCAD, this is the one I have most experience with. I actually used it in high school for, for a little bit, uh, because my father is an architect and he uses BricsCAD, uh, Bri BricsCAD all the time, because it's cheaper and he bought it like I don't know five years uh, ago and it still works I mean he's, it still gets the job done if you're working just simple projects or something that doesn't uh, require too much of the new technologies it makes sense to buy an older classic version of some uh, cheaper program so for example for this bricks CAD program I think he paid like $400 to get a full permanent license and he doesn't pay anything anymore and he can work and do his job and it, it doesn't cost anything so it makes sense to buy a cheaper program like that another program that you can use is chief architect for example now this is a bit of a different program it's a program that kind of utilizes some 3d and I think it's kind of trying to get on the BIM territory with some interior design and visualization but again it's a cheaper alternative to using just AutoCAD so if you're using some interior design or something like that it might make sense to get something like this Another one that caught my eye a little bit is LibreCAD, or I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Now this is a cool software, it, it opens DWG files, so it opens up regular AutoCAD files, but it can actually run on Linux, so that, that's something cool. So if you're using Linux, for example, and you don't want to kind of use the, the Windows interface and mess up with that, so you can use this LibreCAD and run it directly in Linux. Another one that's also great is NanoCAD. Now this is a great software. It's actually uh, free to get it, the, the, the basic version. And, I, uh, and a bit advanced version is like $180. So it's, it costs next to nothing compared to some of the Autodesk products. But if you're just using simple CAD drawings and you don't need anything special, this might be a cool alternative to kind of get the, the lowest possible price or even get the, the basic version for free. 
Another one that's also cool if you're using Revit or BIM software is Vectorworks. It can open up DWG files as well as Revit files. So you can work with somebody who's working with Revit. You can take over files. So it's quite an interesting uh, program. It's cheaper. It's a lot cheaper than Revit, but it gets the job done. Of course, it's not up to the level of Revit. Of course, it's, it's nowhere near, but it can be a cheaper alternative if you're not uh, always going for new technologies and then exploring what's new on the horizon as far as BIM technology goes it can be quite a cool software to get if you just want to get the job done and work in some simple BIM software without breaking the bank okay so that's pretty much it for this video on cheaper alternatives to CAD and Revit soft or BIM softwares I hope you have learned something new and I hope you will consider it when you get to to the point where you need to get your own software license Okay, so that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.